following is a Christmas message by Dr. the Most Honorable Hubert Minnis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. There is an often told story about a young girl who started saving in the new year so she could buy herself a nice Christmas gift. She saved up her lunch money and every other little money she could save up so she could buy herself what she wanted at Christmas time. When Christmas was fast approaching, her mother asked, so what are you going to buy for yourself? The little girl responded, I was saving up all year to buy something for you and for daddy. This is the Christmas spirit. Christmas is the great season of generosity. At Christmas, we celebrate the generosity and love of God in the birth of Jesus Christ, who came to dwell among us. To imitate Christ, among the finest gifts we bring are the gifts of peace, of reconciliation, and forgiveness. But the finest gifts we bring is the gift of love. Love of family, love of friends, and love of neighbor. Material gifts may be an expression of love, but the greater expression of love can never be measured in material terms alone. There is a famous line from a children's book which says, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. Among the finest gifts we may bring at Christmas and year-round are the gifts of friendship, compassion, hope, and mercy. In that beautiful Christmas carol, the little drummer boy offers with all his heart and soul the greatest gift that he can offer to the newborn king. The little drummer boy says, Little baby, I am a poor boy too. I have no gift to bring that's fit to give our king. Shall I play for you on my drum? Mary nodded. The ox and lamb kept time. I played my drum for him. I played my best for him. Then he smiled at me, me and my drum. The best gifts are not bought in a store or purchased online. The best gifts come from the heart. Earlier this year, Sean Austin, a sixth grader who graduated from TG Global Professional Development School in June, came to my office with his mother, Mrs. Olivia Austin. Sean presented me with a painting of myself in Junkanoo costume that he made. He saved up his money and bought the paint the canvas, and other materials he needed. Then he gave the gift of his time to produce the painting he presented to me. It is such a wonderful and touching gift that I will always cherish it. It was a gift from his heart. What gifts of the heart might we give this Christmas? Just as I did last year, I ask you, to especially remember those who are in need at Christmas, including the less fortunate among us, and those who need the gift of hope after a difficult year. There are many charities and churches that need our support in providing Christmas meals and gifts, as well as support for their programs throughout the year. I ask that you be as generous as possible. May this generosity Extend also to families who are struggling to make ends meet. To those in our hospitals, including the Sandlands Rehabilitation Center. And to all those who need the healing of mind, body, and spirit. Because Christmas can be difficult for those who have lost loved ones, let us offer to others the gift of our presence. And let us also give the gift of gratitude on behalf of the government of the Bahamas 
I thank all public officers, including teachers, nurses, doctors, and healthcare professionals for all that you do throughout the year. I also thank the members of the uniformed branches who serve and protect us day and night, as well as those who serve our country overseas. This greeting extends also to the families of public officers and the families of members of the uniformed branches, especially those who are on duty during the holiday season. My special greetings go out to all the families in Kalani. Thank you for your continued support. It is my great privilege to be your member of parliament. To all Bohemians and residents, please be safe and vigilant. Please exercise caution in driving to ensure the safety of others as well as your own. On my behalf and that of my wife Patricia and our family, we extend to you and your family a blessed and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let us all bring the finest gift we may bring to each other in this season of generosity and gratitude. May God bless you all and may God bless our Bahamas. The proceeding was a Christmas message by Dr. The Most Honorable Hubert Minnis, Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas.